Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Luna's baby changes everything? The bold and the beautiful spoilers tease that Luna Nozawa may have a reason to celebrate after her ardent concession to unborn RJ Forrester about sleeping with Zen Forrester Dominguez. It was an accident, and everyone feels awful, but effects could be looking up for the loved-up couple. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, will Luna Nozawa have a little Forrester? When someone has mistake coitus on a cleaner it generally leads to a who's the daddy plot. Right as rain, as soon as Luna landed in Zen's bed, the scuttlebutt shop was lit with enterprise that she'd find herself with a baby. The bold and the beautiful spoilers Luna's baby changes everything? Luna slept with both Zen and RJ Forrester in a small time frame. You do the calculation. But, if a gestation plot doesn't dis. Out, there could be another analogous situation down the road. BNB spoilers, will Luna be pregnant? Luna is spooked that RJ would end be suitable to forgive her after taking her mama's magic mints. Poppy Nozawa lived up to her hippie character by buying anesthetized mints, and Luna inaptly ate them. It's true that RJ is mealy with Zend and punched him in the mouth to make his point. But he's not happy that Luna took so long to tell him about what happened. Still, will there may be a little bun in the roaster that brings these two back together? If RJ breaks up with Luna. Will RJ Forrester dump Luna Nozawa? RJ would surely step up and do the right thing if Luna is having his baby. Luna and RJ are youthful and it would be pleasurable if they started a family together. We've no idea if Luna discovers a gestation but if so this would bring RJ back into her route. And let's face it, solid RJ is a much better choice than Sleazy's end. Explosive show spoilers tease that Luna and RJ's plot takes a twist, and that could be a little baby that reunites them. Tell us the bold and the beautiful suckers, do you want to see RJ and Luna have a baby, or are they too youthful for that? Brooke rages at RJ and Sugar's secret tumbles. The bold and the beautiful promo for April 22-26 is jam-packed with action as Brooke Logan gets involved with the Luna and RJ Forrester mess and is easily touched off by her own history with being cured and also someone hopping into her bed. Meanwhile, the sugar saga spills fully leaving Deacon Sharp more sure than ever that his nine-toed nut is alive, as BNB observers know. On BNB, Luna Nozawa is floundering with the fate of her conduct, leaving RJ Forrester agonized and Zen Forrester Dominguez stuck in the middle. In a surprising twist, Brooke Logan comforts Luna and reprimands her son, RJ, drawing parallels to her once jests with Rich Forrester while she was cured. Meanwhile, on Bold and Beautiful, the hunt for Sheila Carter intensifies. Deacon Sharp and Finn are on a charge. They look for missing and not dead Sheila. And that causes pressure in Finn's marriage on Bold and Beautiful. On the CBS cleaner, Steffi Forrester remains skeptical of Sheila's survival. She reflections to Liam Spencer. But it's the tale of sugar that convinces Finn eventually and may scarify the life out of Steffi on BNB. The week is set to conclude with the preface of a new character, Tom. He's played by Clint Howard. And he might hold the key to Sheila's whereabouts. Lauren Fenmore is in City. Cleric gets a lead on Sheila and tries to make her dot J. See Reason. Last week, Luna eventually cracked and told RJ what happened between her and Zen the night of his forefather's party. RJ snapped and attacked Zen for taking advantage of Luna, who had inaptly taken her mama's special mints. Indeed though Poppy and Zen tried to move RJ not to break up with Luna over this, RJ told Luna that he demanded time to reuse everything. Brooke comforts Luna BB. Coming up, Luna says to Poppy, I broke his heart. Meanwhile, Brooke gets involved and exclaims to RJ, she's not to condemn. It was her mama's medicines. In another scene, Brooke holds Luna's hands as she cries. It doesn't appear RJ is going to be suitable to get over what happened anytime soon. Sponsored Link's dermatologist reveals how your pillowcase impacts skin. In just a time, the blissy silk pillowcase has soared to transnational fame. Dealing out on way further than one occasion Blissey. After telling Lauren about the textbooks he set up between Sheila and someone named Sugar, Lauren was floored. 
When Deacon told her the Sheila that was cremated had ten toes, Lauren gave him a rundown of Sheila and Sugar's history. It must have been enough intel that Deacon can move someone differently to consider his proposition that Sheila's alive. Coming week, Finn tells Deacon, you got me allowing. Deacon replies, good, cause I am right. We need to find her right now. Meanwhile, Steffi tells Liam, Cleric is an idiot if he actually thinks Sheila is alive. It seems she still refuses to believe she may have killed Sugar, not Sheila. Eventually, in an alley by a dumpster, Finn and Deacon show Sheila's picture to a homeless man. Deacon says, you fate her, do ain't you? Could this man eventually lead them to Sheila? The bold and the beautiful spoilers and updates tease shock and drama ahead when Sheila Carter's lookalikes plot that cataclysmal night is exposed. Sugar sure did and anticipate to be the bone. Who was killed by Steffi Forrester, rather of the other way around? The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Cleric knows there was someone worrisome now that Deacon has set up the dispatches from the mysterious Sugar, he can tell from Sheila's tone in her textbooks Sugar was someone worrisome, she didn't want to see her. The bold and the beautiful spoilers shock and drama Sheila's lookalikes plot that cataclysmal night exposed. The tone in Sugar's responses was portentous, advising Sheila that she'd find her and track her down, Sheila didn't know how Sugar got her phone number. Times are gone. Sugar was a captivity warden Sheila got acquainted with who she forced to get plastic surgery to look identical to her to do some crimes. Sugar came resentful and wanted vengeance before this was before Sheila left Genoa City, Wisconsin and went to LA to work as the Forrester Company nanny. This was times ago, so no wonder Sheila's textbooks revealed similar shock that Sugar was tracking her down. Lauren Fenmore knew Sheila Carter from Genoa City. It turns out Lauren Fenmore, one of Sheila's former victims and longtime adversaries, makes a frenetic gusto from Genoa City to LA again this week. Still, since she makes appearances on both shows awfully near together. If you watch both The Young and The Restless and The Bold and The Beautiful it'll clearly feel that way. She doesn't reply well when Deacon asks her questions and mentions Sheila's name, she no way wants to hear her name again, and who can condemn her? Since she was tortured by Sheila for over 20 times, and comes from Genoa City, she can answer Deacon's questions about Sugar, who she was and what she did. Cleric spent time in Genoa City in the history as well, although it was after Sheila formerly had moved to Los Angeles Lauren endured the worst of Sheila over the times. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, a vengeance plan gone terribly wrong it sounds like what happened to Sugar was a vengeance plan gone terribly wrong, with Sugar impersonating Sheila hoping to kill Steffi to frame Sheila. That answers Deacon's question about why the mysterious ringer had all ten of her toes, but not where Sheila is now, let alone how she is. Deacon's worst unspoken fear is presumably that Sugar killed Sheila before going to kill Steffi, but what would her motive be? Cleric will move John Finn Finnegan that Sheila may be alive and in trouble after showing him the textbooks and telling him what he learned from Lord about Sugar. They LL go on the quest for her in the coming many weeks.